Now, the Prime Minister was today interviewed by David Pemberthy on radio in Adelaide. But listen to what he says when Pemberthy states, as a matter of fact, that Albanese and the government owes its budget surplus to commodity prices. And the third, we've turned a $78 billion deficit that was projected under the former government into a $20 billion surf a surplus. Mm. So having that responsible economic management... Commodities help on that front, ...is though, making a big difference. It is, but that's a minor part. Of a part. It is very much a minor part of what has been achieved. It, it's important... Uh, but it's not the only factor. Uh, what we've done as well, unlike previous governments, is where there have been an increase in prices for commodities and increased revenue, we've put it to the bottom line to pay off debt. Previous governments uh, spent it. Uh, we've made sure that that hasn't happened. All right, Matt Canavan, you're an economist. Is the Prime Minister right here that commodities were just a minor, minor part of the surplus? <laughs> Well, the spin just keeps coming here from the PM uh, today. I think it's a lot of people are losing trust with Anthony Albanese here. They sort of voted for him because he wasn't Scott Morrison, but now they're only just working out how he operates. And, and, and it's just, it just defies any common sense here. I mean, clearly the commodities were the big driver of the surplus uh, last financial year because it's only lasting a year. <laughs> he only has the, 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 the surplus for one year and then it goes back to deficits. Why? Because Treasury predicted, rightly by the looks of it, rightly, that the commodity price boom wouldn't last. So prices come back down and they're going to be back to deficits. The key factor was that increase, that massive increase in commodity prices on the back of the Ukraine war. Uh, I mean, the, the last budget that uh, Anthony Albanese hand, handed down despite him saying he'd done all this effort to pay back debt. It was actually the biggest spending budget outside of COVID. We've just been through COVID. There was a different era then. But outside of the COVID years, it was the biggest budget spending uh, since Kevin Rudd in the global financial crisis. And mm. this government did that at a time where inflation is out of control. Mm. At least Kevin Rudd had the excuse of responding to a global financial crisis. This government has added fuel to the inflation fire. And every time you go to the shops and see the prices go up, up and again, you can tell, you can just blame the government a little bit for not helping uh, in having a disciplined budget program. Yeah. James Morrow, what do you think about this? How much were the high commodity prices contributing uh, to, the, to the surplus? Well, it's just so disingenuous because, sure, even if they got a bit of a hit from rewriting the commodities prices in the budget papers, you know, this budget has deficits projected out forever. So it's not like, you know, they're going into surplus and then, you know, we're going to have surpluses forever down the road. No, no, no. We're in deficit. And the thing is, too, these commodity prices now, uh, oil and gas and coal, they've all come back off. And yet, uh, you know, our electricity power prices keep going up and up and up. Mm. All right. 